Welcome back to another episode of I thought this was going to be the easy part. Since the concrete is all set, I have been spending my days after work uh, taking the forms down. And I get home about 4.30 and again it's still winter time so the sun sets. It's getting later now, about 6, 6.30 I can work out here. So about two hours I can work to remove forms. And it is just taking day after day after day, way longer than I thought to remove the forms. Uh, and I'll show you what the process is of getting these forms down. These outside end forms were easy for the most part. Still getting the kickers out took a little bit of time, but the only thing that I have to fix on this wall so far, and I think it's only this wall, is where we had our um, bulkheads to pour this section last we have this inconsistent um, crack here it's because we didn't vibrate it very well because we were running out of time so even like this corner didn't get vibrated really well so it didn't form really well so I've got some what's called red line concrete and I'll fill that in and um, it, that way if we paint it or whatever we do to the surface, it'll it'll keep moisture out of it. So I'll fix that one. There's one on the other side as well. But other than that, this this came out, be, since we didn't vibrate it, this still came out really, really well. I'm very pleased with this wall for the rush that we did to get it put in. You can see the same thing on this end. Uh, right there. So just a little bit of inconsistency where the bulkhead plate was. and But I mean, there's rebar connecting the two, so... I'm not concerned about it so but so that's out I only done that end of this wall as far as getting the kickers out I think these are all unscrewed if I remember nope these are not unscrewed at all I know this side isn't unscrewed yet nope these are still all screwed in and this entire wall is not done yet this wall is done as far as the kickers are out I got a couple stakes left there, 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 down. And then I've got the wood that's still in. And as you can see, I've got, actually it froze. It was cold yesterday, but so that's all frozen. Um, that sounded cool though. But, so what, I, what I'm doing, and I did on this side, because that's this side here, is done and you can see there's a lot of water still in that trench that was next to the wall so I'm finding pockets of water in here but it's what it is they're filling in now if I stomp on them like that it's pushing dirt down and water up so that's good eventually they'll all fill in which is all that matters um, but got a trench over here that is about a I don't know about a foot deep that I've dug the entire side on and when there's no water in it I'll probably have to pump this out to get the water out of it it's supposed to be nice all next week I take the circular saw and cut as low as I can along this edge and then I just break the wall off um, usually I'll try to get it in between sections of the 2x4 so I only have 8 foot sections to deal with which is like what's out over there um, and then break it off and then put dirt back in the trench and that'll be fine. But yeah, that's, that's been the process of getting that part of the form off, which I honestly wasn't sure how difficult that was going to be. And it's not difficult, it's just very time consuming. Uh, and finding a, um, the circular saw, like a, a big circular saw, I'd have to dig the trench huge to fit. So I have a brushless, uh, cordless circular saw but it doesn't last very long which is normal so uh, that's just time consuming I have an angle grinder too with um, a, a combo disc on it but the combo disc doesn't last very long because it doesn't have a blade on it because if I hit the wall with the concrete with the blade it'll kill a blade so it's got like a combo uh, carbide blade 
that cuts relatively well, but the wood does take off the carbide. And then right now I'm currently working on this wall over here. I've got all of the screws out on these on this side. You really can't get the screws out on this side because they're screwed from the inside, which, you know, it's what it is. I mean, it, it, there was no better option at the time. Uh, I think if I did it again, I would do it a slightly different, but I, maybe not. I don't know. It, it worked, and I'm thankful that it worked. So we'll go from there. I started working on this front wall, and this is out. That board will probably forever be there till it rots away. That was the end of my bulkhead, and it's fine. It 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 can be there. Um, yeah, this one here. Again, these are difficult. These inside ones are slightly more difficult to get out because, again, when forming it with a piece of the OSB, and I screwed through the OSB here to support this board. Um, I should have gone through like this side to support it, but again, it's what it is. It's fine. Worst case scenario, I got to cut it into a bunch of pieces and um, get it out. But this one should actually be relatively loose. It is, and then the front wall, which is, this is the only wall that's actually complete. Both sides are cleared on this one, and it looks really good. And this was all poured at one time, so we don't have that bulkhead seam here, but again, that's minor. I'm not concerned about it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you kind of what's involved with getting out. These, and these, ones, these ones are the easy side. This is gonna be the easy side to do. This side where we had to backfill dirt to get the concrete bug in here, some of these stakes are buried. So I'm gonna to have to dig the stakes back up again to even be able to pound on them to get them out. So that's, that's where the time consuming part is. Um, but yeah, I'll set, I'll set up the camera and we'll go through this side. To be honest, that side wasn't all that bad. Uh, the ground is a little bit drier, so the stakes uh, weren't suctioned into the ground like down there where you had to beat them forever. Uh, I mean, some of them were still pretty stuck. According to the time lapse, it took about 15 minutes just to do that, get the stakes and the uh, kickers out. Now I still have to dig along this side so that I can break the rest of the form away. Um, and that, again, that and just take more time, but it is what it is. I've got time. Uh, I should have about four weeks from here to when the building gets put up, hopefully. Um, hopefully they're gonna call for scheduling within a week or so. I'm pretty sure that they can work with what's here. I mean, it, it's a level enough for them to put a building up, but I am going to try before they get here to get a skid steer and grade this down and smooth it out and probably probably get uh, about 20 ton of gravel brought in here. Uh, but again, if I don't get that far, I don't think that's a big deal for them. I think they can still work with it as is. I would just like to have it as smooth and as nice for them as possible because the smoother and nicer it is, the easier it is gonna be for them to get my building up. So um, I'm gonna continue you know, work on this side. I'll get all the kickers and stakes out, and then I'll dig uh, probably both sides of this wall. This is the, shorter, this is the shortest wall section. Um, well, actually, that's the shortest wall section. That's why I started with that one. Uh, but this is the shortest wall section that's got buried footer on, or buried form on both sides. So get this side dug out, and then I'll start cutting it. Uh, but. Hopefully the next part of this video will be the skid steer, 
digging this, smoothing this out, grading it all, and then getting um, a load of gravel dumped up front and start getting gravel in here. Um, I'm, I will be happy with gravel for a little while if that's all I can get in here. Just again, just to get cars parked inside so that they're off the driveway and it looks a little bit neater here. But if I can get concrete by spring, that'd be awesome too. But I'm not, I'm not pushing it. I'm going to be happy to have an enclosed space if it's just a gravel floor. So um, hopefully the next part of this video you'll see will be the skid steer taking out dirt. So the plan for uh, the next part of this video was to put gravel in to the area here and get it all leveled out and smooth. Uh, but I got a call and this is St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, right? So this is the day before St. Patrick's Day. I don't know what that date is, but whatever it is. 16th? Okay, so it's the 15th. Um, I got a call that my, I got a call yesterday that my building should be starting to install on Monday. So instead of getting gravel in here, I've been spending what time I've had trying to get it as dry as possible and as smooth as possible and cleaning up, like we got the uh, concrete mats, that are the concrete blankets. We're getting picked up out of the way. Just doing what we can to straighten up this area because I don't know if they're gonna have to back the trailer in to the driveway here. So we're just cleaning up anything that doesn't need to be in their way. Got all the cars out of the driveway, which is really weird to actually have the driveway empty. But yeah, we're just trying to make this as level as possible, or smooth, not level. Try to make it as smooth as possible. I found out the best way to dry this out is I've dug these sump holes. There's a sump hole there. And I've got a sump hole here. And you see, I just keep dropping the pump in there. And if I just pull the water out here, it's pulling it along the entire wall because it's following the boards. But once the boards come out, it's better. But, and then I've got a sump hole on this side, which is draining this entire, it's draining this entire side of the wall here. And then I got one over on this side. So the back wall has got a little bit of water in it, but nothing crazy. Uh, but you can see these are filled, these filled with water. I just suck them out. Got one on this side too. This one's really shallow. I'm just trying to dry up this area over here. But so instead of having gravel in here, we're gonna have the building up first and then we'll just have to, you know, work in here once the building's up, which is gonna be fine because it's gonna help dry it out and it'll be easier to work in here when it's drier, getting the dirt or this excess dirt that we don't need out of here uh, if it's dry and not a muddy mess. So um, yeah, building comes Monday, hopefully. It's still, a, it's still a 60, 40. As an increase? No, it's still, it, it, I, up until a couple of days ago, it was still a 50, 50, whether this was building was a scam. Uh, and then I finally got the call that they were gonna come out and install. It's now 60, 40, 60% 60 that I'm gonna get a building, 40% that this is still a scam and I've spent a lot of money on nothing. Um, they said they should be here around noon on Monday and if they don't show up by 1201, it's going to like 8020 that it's a scam. <laughs> no, um, no, no, we talked about this yesterday. I know. What did we talk about yesterday? We talked about yesterday that around noon means you need to give them a window of 11 to 1. Okay. That's around noon. So at 101, <laughs> can I go 9010 that this is a scam? 7030. No, no, yeah. I think 9010. No. No, uh, we'll find out on Monday what, what what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. It is chilly this morning. Um, it's going to be, I think the high today is 36, but yesterday they came in around 3.30 yesterday and they started building my building. Um, they worked till about eight o'clock and they got this much done. So yeah, I got a couple of trusses in. They just went around, squared up the frame on the, uh, on the footer. 
and then they assembled the truss pieces back here They're frozen still They assemble each one of these and they flip them over to this side. So you can see they're already pre welded. The truss piece is pre welded at the factory. And uh, they flip them over this way and then they carry them down and they stand them up. And that's what they're doing. It's uh, it's pretty big. Well, tall. It's pretty tall. Oh, there's my door right there. There's my door. Yeah, that's my building. from inside the house <clears throat> these ones tend to go easier for them since I'm they've got I think six more left to do And when they don't fit just right, they have to hit them a little bit, but... Get that to slide down, and it's, again, it's not easy because it's a double post right there, so they both have to fit perfectly on it. It's moving.
I was hanging on it. There it goes. Pretty sweet. It's another one up. This is the last one going up. They've been here about an hour and a half. And this is the last one going up and they fasten that top piece up there. That way they don't have to climb back up there, I'm assuming. There's no reason, to, it's a lot easier to fasten that when it's on the ground. So they put the, that there. And that would be the last truss and I'm assuming they, actually I don't even know what they're gonna do. Gotta go to the store here shortly to get stuff for another household project that I'm working on. While these guys are out here, I'm redoing a bathroom. But yeah, that's the last upright. I have to fight to get in. Come on, boys. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Look at that. Almost in. I got like a inch. That's it. They are working on getting the roof stringers. I'm not quite sure what those are up there. That guy there's got one in his hand. They're, well, they've got to be 20 feet long, maybe longer. Lays over there like that. Locks the whole building together. Pretty cool. They have a strap over there. They're trying to pull the building into square. It was slightly out, so they put a strap on it and pulled it, which you gotta do what you gotta do when you're working with steel and welded stuff that wasn't welded on the property and whatever. I I'm all good with it. Putting on the third one, it looks like the fourth one goes at the top. So like that side will be almost done. And I know, I know some of you might be curious about why I am inside here videotaping. I could be outside, and I have done some from outside, and it's fine. They don't seem to care, but I know that when, you know, people are watching me work, it just makes work uncomfortable. So I'm trying to be as respectful as I can to these guys so that they can do what they need to do for me. I mean, they... they they're working for me, so why would I make it more difficult on them? But, um, yeah, they're, uh, maybe I'll have the roof done today. They've got, it's a little after noon, and they worked till 8 o'clock last night, so I don't know how far they'll get. It is almost 5 o'clock now, and I thought they are doing the roof, but I guess they are doing the sides, which, by the way, looks amazing. I think this color is called slate gray. I think that's what we went with. Get a better shot of it over here. Oh, that is amazing. They'll have the back done in no time. these big straps keeping it square it's kind of funny they have massive straps pulling it square but again what else are you gonna do oh it's a massive metal structure that was assembled somewhere else and now they're putting it here so they've got to square it up the best they can there's the other garage door by the way is all framed in which is awesome I can't wait to try to pull a car into that to see if it works like I drew out with sidewalk chalk on the driveway. 
if you can get a car to come in here and actually two cars to park nose in from that door. We'll see. They are so fast with what they do. Yeah, they're gonna have that back done in probably the next 20 minutes. Jam it underneath the one above it, it locks in, and that's it. They bring two pieces at a time, and uh, that's what they do. Pretty, pretty quick, actually, when they get going. That one's gonna need a couple more pieces. This side here is gonna need probably, I don't know, I think they're 25 feet by three foot, maybe? 25 feet by two foot, I'm not so sure. But yeah, that's, it's pretty darn quick when they get moving. It's nine o'clock-ish. The guys left here, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. Um, it's really hard to see because it's dark. I have, a, I have one light up over here. Let me zoom in, it's better lighting. There we go. So they have the bottom edge down here to do. The back is done. Bottom edge over here. Front is done. Tomorrow they will put the roof on. Actually, it said tomorrow will be done. Ooh, wow, it's really dark. Um, yeah, tomorrow they said they will be done. So still pretty muddy in here, but it's starting to freeze, so that's good. It's like 40. No, it's like 30 degrees outside right now. If not less, maybe like 28. I don't know. It's cold. <sighs> Yeah, it's very cold out here. But yeah, tomorrow they put the roof on, and they'll trim it. This door is almost completely, actually this, the majority of this door is in. That's not a door, so they have to finish siding up to that, um, the, the, the header uh, support. They made some amazing progress today. Tomorrow is supposed to be a decent day, like 47 is the high. Today's high was like 37. Um, so it should be a nice day for them to finish up um, putting this thing together for me. Guys got here about eight o'clock this morning again, and they've been working. I actually had to take Kitty to a doctor's appointment, so I wasn't here for most of the day. They've got trim up going on this side, which is the copper trim. Um, they were able to sheet over the door that I don't have yet, and my, I don't have my double door yet in there so they just sheeted over it which is fantastic until i get it it'll keep it sealed keep the rain out <laughs> and then i got to come way back because it's hard to see but uh, the roof's blue but i gotta come way back to be able to see it and you can see it there Blue roof, copper trim, and the gray, uh, gray siding, whatever. So yeah, they're getting it all capped off. It's looking fantastic. Um, they they said they'll be done today. So that's where we're at. Well, it snowed last night, and in two days, it's supposed to be 65 degrees, so that's what we deal with here. But we have a garage that I will take you for a quick walk around. What it looks like here, it looks like on the other side and on the other sides. It's gray with copper trim, but it's really cool. So yesterday they finished up, that, that was Friday. Um, man door on this side. There is uh, gonna be a doorway here. I'll talk about that in just a minute. I love the color of the copper and gray contrast. And then there's the, the blue roof, which you can't see from my yard anyway. But it kind of gives me that golf vibe and, and I'm a huge fan of golf racing. Um, so that's kind of, kind of why I did the blue in copper. They didn't really, they didn't have an orange. So the back side here. 
And literally the other side looks just like this. So there's no door in it. Let's go to the inside. I got a load of gravel dumped off. That's for the next episode. It's actually not gravel, it's crushed asphalt. So here we are. A lot of echo in here. That's gonna have to be solved with some uh, insulation because audio is gonna be terrible. Here's that other door opening there. So the plan is for another episode, you guys were awesome enough to give me to seal this in for me because I asked them, they didn't know if they had enough material and then they actually did. So they just made it because I, I don't have a door for here yet. So by going across it like this, um, they saved me money of having to get plywood to cover it for right now. But the plan's gonna be to cut this and I don't know if it's gonna work yet. It's, it's just a, a plan. Cut this all the way around here fasten this to a marketplace bought uh, 16 by seven door, mount our own custom tracks. Well, mount tracks that for that other garage door and just have it go straight at the wall as one panel. So one gigantic panel will go all the way up with a garage door opener. And that way the garage door will actually match the exterior of the building. And then maybe I'll put a couple of windows in this panel just so we can get some light in here because when that front door is closed it's dark i mean there will be lighting here but it's it's pretty dark but um they left me the trim for around that doorway which was really nice of them and they also asked if i could get a couple of screws just in case i needed the screws and they left me bags of screws of the colors i have copper blue and gray just in case I need to fix anything up or whatever. These guys were just amazing. So I still got some work to do in here. This is actually starting to dry out finally. Obviously it's not gonna get rained on anymore. It's still kind of tacky, but the tacky means it's drying out. Um, but things I, I was re reading up on metal buildings, things that have to be done like sealing corners. You can actually see out these, like all these, you can't see out of them, but because there's a cap on it, but the light can get around it, which means if light's getting through, bugs, air, all that kind of stuff. So seal that up. I think there's a way to get the seal up that edge up there because it's kind of the same thing up there. Um, so there's definitely still some work that needs to be done in here. It's an enclosed space that doesn't get wet anymore. So that's the important thing. Um, I'll work the next couple of, uh, probably next month or so, trying to get more of this dirt out that we don't need and get gravel in. And at least we'll have a gravel base to work off of. I know some people might be uh, thinking, you know, why didn't you build or put that building together yourself? And I could have. I actually called a couple of companies to see, and the one I use one of them is, if they could just drop the materials off and I could do it myself. Uh, a couple reasons why I didn't, and one um, extra reason why I'm glad I wasn't able to. So they don't give you a discount if you build it yourself, number one. So if you're like, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll assemble it. There's no discount on the building anyway. Uh, you void the warranty if you were to say, you know, I, I still want to do it. You'd void the warranty on the, anything that is warrantyable. Um, the, you're, you're paying for those guys. To, so on that same note, you're paying for those guys to come build it. So if you're not going to get a discount, you might as well just have them come do it. The other thing is, is I would still probably be putting up trusses. Um, you know, it would probably take me two months to build that building uh, with help, obviously. Uh, and those guys had it done in three days. So um, that's kind of why I didn't build it myself. I would have really liked to have done it and just had that experience of building my own garage, but this was just how it went. But the side note to um, why I'm kind of glad I didn't was the four guys who came out only spoke Spanish. 
I got to break out some of the worst 11th grade Spanish that you have ever heard. Um, they had a kick out of me trying to uh, pronounce things and say things and try to explain what I needed from them or, what, or if they had questions. Um, I tried to speak as much Spanish as I could and it was awful and they were laughing and I was laughing and they spoke very little English. Uh, the one guy spoke the most and even that was, his English was as good as my Spanish. So it was, it was pretty rough, but um, after the three days they were, they were here, um, it was a ton of fun just to have them here and talk with them. And um, they're, 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 those are guys I will never, ever meet again. Um, but they're guys that are now a part of my shop's story. And um, again, I'll never see them, but I, do, I did thank them quite a bit for the amount of work they put in for me. So um, just thought I'd throw in a picture of those guys here. Um, right, right, literally, this is like two minutes before they left. I asked if I could get a picture with them. So these guys came in on a Wednesday at three. By the time they got set up, it was four o'clock. They worked the, from, on Wednesday from four to eight. They were back on Thursday at like eight in the morning, 8.15, and worked till eight again. So that was a 12 hour day. Plus you add on the four hours they worked the day before, you're talking, 16 hours there and then they worked from eight o'clock till about four the following day so on, on friday so they did this relatively quick from a footer to a full building complete pretty quick so but with that we'll end this episode thank you all for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and i hope everybody has a great week